Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders with me, Get Daved. We gotta... Oh, yeah. We gotta give up this chapter. There's an enemy at the gates. Let's do this. Oh, L, you're such a trooper. All right. Prepare to rumble. I don't think the aesthetics of those ballistas could be improved a bit, huh? Hello, Hades Condor. Also, just to confirm, I still have my evil, evil idols good. I mean, in real life, not the game. We're running out of space in the coffer, though. This could be an unexpected issue. Forgot to get an upgraded weapon. Okay. We still have the broadsword. We'll be fine. Also, we're only in Wayfarer's clothes. Well, it's gonna feel great when we get into some real armor. Well, they're not going anywhere. Glad I picked a great distribution like that. Good start, good start. Not a huge fan of the amount of damage they're doing to me. Alright, team, you're gonna have to take care of the rest of this. Yeesh. Soon we'll be able to work with better materials, and I'll actually use that sapphire while I'm at it. There we go. And everyone lived. It's a me, get Dave Dio. Alright, let's get this town to level five, shall we? Oh, oh. Yeah, she's got the blight. Oh, don't say it. Yep. Into the sick room. We'll quarantine you in there. Ah, uh, she's... She's not saying kill me. She's saying... Anything but that. Also, it appears we have saloon doors on the... Um... Cemetery. Which is kind of an interesting take on things. Ah, oh, jeez! Oh, the barbecue kitchen is the least of our worries. Oh, that's sticking out a little far for my liking. I don't know. Maybe we can do a clever trick of elevation. We'll have this one be raised, maybe? Yeah, I think that's gonna be the game plan. Yeah, 
Yeah, that could look pretty good, actually. So for starters, let's get let's get cladding ready. You know, I know what you might be thinking. It's not symmetrical. That's okay. Improving the visual diversity of the town. I choose to think of it as a feature. Yeah, we'll do right there. And they're gonna want us to build in dirt anyway. This is gonna put us in a little bit of a tricky spot because I really, really, really wanna finish before nightfall. The barbecue kitchen's back, everyone. Good news, everyone. Milk blossoms. Now, I could build a shovel. Maybe I have enough buds on hand. I've kind of just chopped them down without much thought. I was a fool. Of course. Do we have a campfire? Yeah, perfect. And we'll need to make some wooden memorials. Those are pretty simple to make. And we need a journey to go find... Well, I guess we start with a shovel, actually. Which is what I would say if I had equipment. All right, we won't be taking damage anymore. Yeah, that felt nice. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why, but I guess we need to make the shovel here, as opposed to fasten the parts together. Oh yeah, someone was requesting a naughty nightlight. Uh, we have to spend gold to do this. Gold won't be super rare forever though. Let's go to the teleportarium really quickly. We have business there. It's a triple, everybody. Yay! Nearly pushing us over the line. Actually, if I just put good flooring up top, that would probably do it as well. A couple people were like, hey, get daved. Where would you put that? Oh, lover's lane right at the end here. Don't ask what happened. Whoa, we're missing flooring in here. Also, I'm almost out of flooring kits. Well, time to make the economical solution, or implement it, I should say. I hate when you, or how when you drill down, you can see the town is still built on poison. 
poison it lies. Flooring. Whoa, we had a ton of flooring in the. Yeah, that's disappointing. Well, we should be set. And this alone is probably going to push us over, which is, in a way, a fun find. Kiasa! Got something trying to smash through the wall. All right, let's take a look at our lovely hardwood tiles. We have 110, which means we can do a mere 10 by 10 grid. That's unfortunately just not that much. Got other nice hardwood can or you know pieces, but. I think we've got dark times. Well, for our hunt for the milk blossom bud, I feel like we can't allow that to continue. Oh boy. The city's uh, in kind of a tricky state right now. Okay. So I mentioned it was really bad when the enemies went tunneling under the city. In a, uh, in a different experience. They're doing it again. Sure, why not have another one come in? That was a great time. Man, there's so many monsters trashing the place right now. It's pretty frustrating. I'm just going to come back during the day. Because apparently, like, there were so many of them. Again, kind of horrifying to see enemies tunneling under the base. Oh, I bet that was bugging somebody. Now also realizing the extreme value having the entire outside of the base be made out of a pretty solid material. So much so that I'm going to go underneath here. I mean nothing happens. Oh, because it's all peat. Shucks darn. 
Alright, we can't use a cladding kit to reinforce it. I'll, I guess I'll try to get away with it just as is. I'm kind of horrified by what one hammerhood was able to do, though. I mean, I guess technically there was no real damage to the city, but... It seems to suggest an underlying problem. Also, we've had our fun, but... Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'll pick up their quests momentarily. Uh, we have a flower to find. Easiest way is probably... Take a teleportal. I mean, they're everywhere, right? We just need to find one that leads us to green land quickly. Oh, like here. I've got the shovel ready to go. There we go. Yeah, you were all expecting it to be a lot harder than that. They've gone on some pretty crazy journeys to get plants. I don't think I have a bench on hand. Which is kind of unfortunate. I'll go build one right away. Where is that milk blossom? Also, give yourself 10 good Dave points if you can hear the yippee dog next door. Why don't you go die? Just to clarify, that was to the audience. The dog's fine. <laughs> milk blossom. There we go. Oh wow, we have an empty room there. I suppose maybe we'll expand um, whatever the name of the room is that... Uh, it's got the thing. The cauldron in it. I'm gonna call it the Herborium. Because why not? None of you can stop me. There we go. I'm not sure if we get a bonus or anything for building this. Master Planner. It's a graveyard. Increases automatic HP recovery. Seems nice. up these old walls here. Hmm. Perfect. My plans always work. Uh, this will transform some of the ground on the outside of the town, which would probably do more good than harm, but... Oh boy, game. You know just what to do. It really guts my goat sometimes. that we have certain aesthetic guidelines. Oh, geez, I've done it now. I'll forget everything I was saying. I mean, I'm not sure it makes sense for us to have this part be made out of hardwood. Why the heck not, though? It's worth so many more points now. Hmm, I fought the good fight for diverse flooring. I think we're just gonna go all in here. Go to 
put you away. Useless toxic junk. There we go. <laughs> That's frustrating. Maybe we can beat the clock tick on this one. Yeah! The game never found out my secret. Okay, for real though, we can't mess up the agricultural area. That would actually be bad. I'm pretty sure the tilled blocks can't be ruined, but... I have one commenter who, uh... very kindly <laughs> asked me to get rid of the plants growing out of grass, or hardwood, pardon me. Fixed. I also like how they sort of have random tinting on the wood. It's a really nice touch. Let's see appreciate the merits of the flooring choice. There we go. Nice looking place, everybody. It's a nice little campfire in the corner, right on top of that wooden floor. It'll be fine. Also, this is a bit of a testament to how quickly you can go through 99 flooring kits. I made a pretty good dent already. Also, it's probably time to start worrying about hell. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, what do you got, Hazel? Oh yeah, you're a blacksmith. Was it, um... Guy from the last place? I'm gonna say it was. I think I have five chunks. <laughs> what? <Wow>. Oh. <laughs> It's a nice town. <laughs> Bling. Oh, it didn't happen. Rut row, Raggy. Oh, there we go. A splat of liquid silver. You can make lots of great stuff out of liquid silver. Well, you kind of gave up being a doctor. Snap out of it, old man. Oh my goodness. His own granddaughter. Well, let's check this out. Hmm. Transmutation table. Now, it always freaks me out a little bit. Oh no, it's going to be at the cauldron. Um, just the word transmutation. Just because of my extensive history with Dragon Quest IV. You know what? We're going to ritz up the entrance to town. This is a classy place. We have classy flooring. Wow, couldn't even reach it. I suppose I could have just counted. I must eliminate weak points. Yeah, we knew it was coming. Thank you, both of you. I started off pretty aggressive here, I'd say.
If I had gone and done the liquid silver thing first, we'd be kicking their butts right now. Best weapon in the game, well, that I know of, awaits us. Hammerhood. Soft spot, red alert. <laughs> uh, we might die here. Getting dogpiled a bit there. I did not care for that. going on a bit longer than I had hoped. I was just gonna duck out for like one second. Now look at what they've done to me. All right, Droll, listen. Yeah, how kind of you to help, Mildred. Just in time for two more to take their place. Okay. We have a lot of raw supplies on our hands right now. What? I'm not using them. And if I could just place flooring directly, that would help a lot. Forced. Weak point generally eliminated, and now we can. Uh, whatever, it can stay for now. I want to get out of this hellish situation outside. Just a quick lap. What we call a victory lap. Celebrating my great performance thus far. Oh no. Well, at least we got a ton. Yeah, baby. I don't know what behind what is behind all of those uh, keyed doors. Now the falcon blade is amazing. Chainmail is not that great, but it's kind of cool to have. And the divine dagger is circumstantially really useful. We'll figure all that out in the next episode, though. Thank you for watching.